Hey, it's Chris. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I continue my quest to build the ultimate adventure bike from this 2020 Husky 701 Enduro LR. Today, I'm adding carbon fiber pipe guards from Wings Exhaust, because let's face it, getting burned is no fun. And so as always, smash like if this is all helpful for you, and hit subscribe if you'd like to follow along with all the other modifications we're making to the bike. One of the great aspects of the 701 is that it's much lighter than its big adventure bike cousins. And as a result, it's easy to throw on the back of a truck or on an inexpensive trailer hitch mounted bike rack. Um, in both cases, if you're loading and unloading, it's easy to get burned on the header pipe. A carbon fiber pipe guard or heat shield, if you will, is a great solution to the problem. Makes your bike look better and it'll keep you from burning yourself or your gear. Shouldn't be any major surprises on this installation. Should go pretty quick. So let's get started and let's see what's in the box. So pretty straightforward. These are, are gonna be held on with the uh, pipe clamps. So I'm gonna unscrew those. Put that around the pipe for the header pipe. On here, we're just gonna replace the stock unit. And all of these heads are five millimeter head. Heat resistant washer, which is gonna go in behind the heat shield. All right, those are nice and snug, so that'll hold it in place while we're screwing it into the bike. So in order for that pipe clamp to just slide through easily, I need to back off the screw. As you can see, that just moves easily. First up, I'm gonna do the, replace the stock one with this, and then we'll do the header pipe. All right, T25 to take these two off, T27, take the back one off. I'm going to reuse these rubber, I don't know if they're grommets or what they're called. And we also have to remember to use the clip nut that's on the, the back piece of that. So we'll transfer the rubber pieces. You just have to be a little more careful with the rubber pieces. They do slide off of the carbon fiber easier than they do with, uh, with the metal. And the clip nut goes on the back. So I may be able to leave the, the clamp on the pipe guard in the front, but I'm gonna to need to take it off here because I'm gonna to need to end up with this fastener right in between these two um, pieces of metal. And the idea will be that the screw opening is right in between. Okay, that looks like with a little effort I can get that to go. There it is. It's come up through the bottom. It's a bit tricky because the pipe clamp is quite a bit bigger than the, uh, the pipe to start. So you have to force it together. Another one of those jobs takes three hands. So next piece will be to put the other clamp in place. So just eyeballing this, it looks like that clamp is about halfway through. So I'll tighten the clamp, then tighten this bolt, and then this one, and finally the clamp.
Okay, so that's it for the install. Bike looks great, and now I don't have to worry about burning myself or my gear when I'm loading and unloading the bike. If this was at all helpful for you, smash the like button. If you'd like to follow along with the other modifications we're doing, certainly hit subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.